Hey guys, happy Monday. It's February 8th and we are looking forward to this week. It's a shortened week. We know everyone's excited about going on midwinter break. Um, your learning target today is that you can write a CER supporting your claim about Hammurabi's code. Obviously, we've been learning the last week all about Hammurabi and his code of law. And remember that those uh, documents, your background essay, a, B, C, D, and E are all due today in Google Classroom. So just go ahead and go into all those different posts and turn in each one. We need you to turn in all those documents that you've been working on. They were all due today. All right, so go ahead and get those finished up. You do not have a question and reflection notebook this week. This is um, a week we really want you to focus on your CER. It is going to be a test grade. So it's really important that you put in all your effort um, into that. And we're working on that Monday, Tuesday, and then it's due Wednesday. So you'll also have Wednesday at home <clears throat> to finish it up if you don't finish it in class by Tuesday. Now, what we are going to do at this time is we have a very special video from the Norton Shores Fire Department. And they took the time um, to make a whole video um, responding back to the letters that you guys sent them. You might recognize a lot of the kids' names that they say as your friends. A lot of the kids are virtual students, so virtual students, um, this is your time to shine. A lot of the fire firemen and women, um, they really enjoyed your letters. They enjoyed your um, inspiring quotes, as you'll see. But right now, you can pause this video, jump to this video from the Norton Shores Fire Department, and yeah, enjoy that. All right, once we come back, we will go with Ms. D'Angelis to the CER project. Okay, boys and girls, we're back for the CER today. And so Ms. Richards and I are pretty excited to read your take on Hammurabi's code. What do you believe? What do you think? What have you noticed with reading through all these documents? What is your claim? Do you claim that Hammurabi's code was fair? Or do you claim that Hammurabi's code was unfair? Just and fair, remember, are the same thing. They mean the same thing in this case. So today, you will start working on your CER. And we've set this up for you in a pretty easy format, I think. So all you have to do is open this document one at a time in Google Classroom, and you are going to basically fill in this document to make your CER. So you will start with paragraph one, which is your claim. It's not an actual paragraph today. It's going to be a sentence. And your sentence is your claim. Remember, you don't answer yes or no. You just state your claim. Tom Robbie's code is fair. Tom Robbie's code is unfair. You choose one of those two. I just gave you the two sentence choices right there. You type that in where those lines are. See those lines? You type it in right there. You get one point for stating your claim and one point for making it a sentence. Boys and girls, in seventh grade, you're earning one point just for making a capitalization, punctuation, and having all those pieces of a sentence that you've been learning about in ELA. Does it have a subject? Does it have an action? Whatever it needs, a verb, whatever, make sure you have that, please. Then, after you've stated your claim, you are staying with that claim the entire rest of your CER. So you are going to have to stick to it, and you're going to have to prove to us why that claim is your claim. So. In paragraph two, noticing you have to have evidence. The evidence comes from the documents you've been working on for the last week. It's going to be so easy for you. You don't even have to research another place. You go back to documents A, B, C, D, and E, go back to the essay, and you use those background essay, and you use those documents for your evidence. So you notice that under the first, um, for four points, you go to that first bullet point, it says a complete piece of evidence from the documents to support your claim. Does your evidence actually support your claim whatever one you chose? Sometimes kids get a little mixed up and they actually don't prove their own claim. So making sure you're clear and you're proving your claim. The next bullet says, identify the source of the document. You have to say, after you type your sentence, you have to say where you got it from. Was it document B? Was it the background essay? Put it in parentheses after the sentence. You, can, you finish your sentence, and you put in parentheses the document. Pretty easy because we're giving you the documents. Just make sure to do it. Easy point. Then do you have spelling and punctuation? You know that red line underneath words in on your computer? That means it's spelled wrong. Go back and check it out. Figure out why. The blue line means some kind of grammar error. So maybe go check that out. 
So double check your spelling and punctuation, and then making sure that you have sentences from the documents. We're giving you a point just for making sure you have sentences, spelling and punctuation. So cool. But now you picked your evidence and you, you're proving to us why you picked that piece of evidence. That's your reasoning. Why was that piece of evidence important to your document, to your claim? Why did you go to that particular document? Why did you go to that particular sentence and write that down as your evidence? Explain that to us in your reasoning. Noticing that you have to have um, the explanation. You have to have, again, sentence and a thought, and you have to have spelling punctuation. And this is going to require a couple of sentences because you're explaining it to us. I, that evidence makes sense to me. And then you're going to explain in your reasoning why that evidence makes sense to you. Okay. And then you have to do it all over again. You can't just have one piece of evidence. You have to have at least two. You should probably have three, but we're just going to do two this time. So evidence. Again, it's the same setup, you guys. Go to the documents. Find something that proves your claim. Type it in there. Make sure you have the source. Make sure you have the source. It's the easy point. And then make sure you have punctuation, capitalization, all that good stuff, and that your sentences make sense. Please do that. And then go to your reasoning. Your reasoning is kind of explaining why you picked that piece of evidence. That's your part to go through and justify that piece of evidence. Then effort. Did you really do what we asked? Did you go through and find the evidence? Did you find the source? Did you put the source in your document? Did you reread? Boys and girls, all professional writers have someone else reread their work. All professional writers reread their own work. You're not even a professional yet, so you definitely should be reading your work and asking an additional person to reread your work. Teacher, parent, peer, maybe all three, making sure that your sentences make sense. Today, Ms. Richards made some awesome changes on this document that you're seeing now because she said, mm, that's not very clear, Mrs. Dana Giles. Said, oh yeah, right. Add another bullet here, another clarification here. She totally helped clean this document up because I asked her for some help. Please do that too. You will get points just for that. Noticing two extra points for your dedicated effort. That all comes to 20 points. That's a lot of points in social studies. So 20 test grade points you can earn by following these directions and using the documents you've already used. I think it's going to be fun. I think you're gonna have some debates in your class. I'm curious to see how many of you think it is fair or unfair and what your justification is for that. And then lastly, I'm sure a lot of you guys have noticed the extra credit at the end. If you have time and choose to do so, you have a chance to get extra credit points by rewriting your entire CER in a paragraph form. So we're looking for a really clean, a really easy to read whole essay with paragraphs of your CER and you can earn extra points doing that. Um, so we highly encourage you to do that and we've already read some really great work by you guys and I'm sure the ELA teachers can vouch for that as well. We've got some really good writers so we're looking forward to seeing who takes the time to do that extra credit. So have fun you guys get working you have all of today and all of tomorrow and Wednesday if you need it but it is due on Wednesday and you'll want to submit that before the long weekend so please get this going ask questions if you have any do Wednesday at 11:59 and then you'll be off the hook for the whole weekend. Thanks for your effort.